Welcome back to Brush and Overlay Cafe. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to give your photos that cinematic, moody vibe in Photoshop. We'll explore two different styles, a cool, dramatic look and a warm, moody feel. These techniques are super simple, but can totally transform your photos. I'll be walking you through step by step, so whether you're a beginner or just looking to learn some new tricks, stick around. Let's jump in with the first look, a cool, moody, cinematic grade. Here's the first image we'll be working with. And by the way, I've included both images down below if you want to download those and practice. In order to get those cool tones that I'm looking for, in this particular image, what I want to do is bring up the blues, so make those a little bit brighter, and then kind of subdue the reds and yellows, all of the warm tones. So the warm tones of the door, maybe some of these warmer tones under the tracks and on the train, and then we're really going to be highlighting any sort of blue and cyan colors that are happening. So for example, in his coat and the road leading up to him. I'm going to start by adding a black and white adjustment filter. Then I'm going to choose high contrast blue filter. What the high contrast blue filter does is it turns down the reds and yellows, which are the warm tones. It also turns down any green tones that might be in the image and it turns up the cool cyans. Now I'm going to change my blending mode to multiply and turn down the opacity. So I'm going to come all the way down and bring it up until it looks right to me. Multiply is going to help with some of that moody contrast that we're looking for here. Now double click on the layer or you can right click and choose blending options. I'm going to bring back the highlights from the original image below by dragging this slider and that's too harsh, so hold down the Alt key as you drag just the left hand slider. And you'll see some of those highlighted areas start to come back in. I think I want to turn those cyans up even a little bit more, so I'm going to double click back into the black and white filter and turn those up, and you can see that popped the highlights on his jacket even more. I want to paint this effect off of his face, so I'm going to click on the mask and just get the effect off of his skin using a black brush. So here's a before and after, and this is a great place to either start or finish with your cinematic edit. It's already got that nice, cool, moody tone. If you want to make your tones even cooler and a little bit more moody and sort of that bleak look, you could add a color balance layer and just move the slider towards the cyans in the highlights. And then I'm also going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer and turn the saturation down a little bit too. That makes it even more sort of sinister and cold looking. So here's a before and after with the original edit and a before and after after adding both a color balance and hue saturation layer as well. I might turn the opacity down on that one just a bit. And now let's do a warmer cinematic feel. Again, I'm going to start with a black and white adjustment layer. And this time I'll choose high contrast red filter. That really popped the reds and made them lighter, the reds and the yellows, and it made the greens and cyans much darker. I'm going to change the blending mode to darken. And here's a before and after of that. So all of those light colored cyans in the background are now super dark. I don't want the blues in her eyes to go dark, so I'm going to go ahead and brush this just off of her eyes. If you want to make it even warmer, you can again add a color balance layer and turn up the reds in the highlights and the midtones. There's a before and after of just that. And then you can also use a hue saturation layer. Depending on the look you want, you can turn the saturation either up or down. So if you turn it down, it gives a little bit more of a moody vibe and up is a little bit more saturated and brighter. And I might even go ahead and turn those reds up a little bit more. This is totally up to you. Whatever looks right in your image. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the shift key Control G to group those layers. And here's a quick before and after. Now you can always turn down the opacity, brush the effect off of her face. And I actually think I want to turn down the saturation just a bit. So it'll be a little bit more of a moody vibe. Here's one final before and after. 